Alright pilots, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James, Alex behind the camera. And uh, we're here today to revisit the 90 millimeter free wing F-22. This time it's the high performance version. We actually never did a video with it. Now that it has that new 1900 KV in runner included. And uh, she is sweet. Um, it's been a while since I flew my Raptor and I just did a maiden on it with this motor and it sounds so good. But for this video, like we just did with the F-4, uh, I'm gonna be quiet during the whole flight. And when we land, we could just talk about it. Uh, but we've already said it in a million other videos. But are you ready, Alex? Yep. All right, taking off, right to left. Gear up. Pack up. All right, guys, we just landed. Want to get out of the heat. Uh, an empty field behind me, which is always nice. But taking a look again, guys, for those of you who've never seen the 90 millimeter uh, free wing F-22, she is really a sight to behold. She's a beautifully flying, beautiful flying aircraft. Um, for her size, she's gentle, um, can be aerobatic. It can be a lot of things for a lot of different types of pilots. But taking a look inside, I'm flying with the stock CG. So the stock CG is 150 millimeters from where the wing meets. So put your bow back here, I would say, is where my CG, and that's where I'm getting it with the 5000, so I'm still just flying it with the typical 5000 Admiral 6S LiPo, and that's where I keep it. And then we can check our uh, battery again. Um, it's been a while since I flew the F-22, and I'm always harder on the sticks. You see, we're about at 3.8 there, um, and that was with the 5000 6S, but again, guys get different, you know, don't go by me. I'm, I'm heavy on the throttle at times. 
especially when I fly jets. But um, overall, she's a fantastic bird. So now the high performance 6S version comes with a 1900 KV in, in runner inside. And that's what I just flew it on, which is awesome. You can get this as an RF Plus model, so no power system. And we also sell this in an 8S package for guys that really want to, uh, you know, let it rip. But as far as what she's got in her, again, she's got flaps on the back. You got full flying stabs. And they give you a... Uh, uh, a measurement to set them up. I believe it's five and a half millimeters um, from the foam. Uh, if you could, it's hard to see, but where the foam meets of the fuselage, the meat, if you will, of the fuselage, you're gonna measure 5.5 millimeters uh, for your neutral on your elevator. And then everything else, pretty status quo. You got nose light um, on the front, big robust retracts, which are nice. She's definitely grass capable. Uh, your nose cone is just magnetic, so if you guys want to store it on your nose like that or plastic all around, you know, no worries there. And the magnets are a lot stronger than they initially were. I know that that was one of the things that would occasionally happen on my first model I had with the nose would pop off if you landed even on a soft landing sometimes. But now the magnets seem a lot like, watch this suction, watch that magnet out. Uh, boom. It, it sucks in there and it's tight, but you can always add maybe a little piece of wood or something. If you would, would be the only, only maybe addition moderately. But I have a gyro in there, Hobby Eagle gyro with the uh, Utaba receiver, plenty of canopy space uh, to go inside. And then I just want to show you the rates for that flight. So um, I'll do it on this side so I can see it. And then I'll turn the plane around to you just to make sure I am lined up. We got our little trusty rate meter here. So just so I can see the measurements, I am at, it's like 34. And again, I'm not setting it up. I didn't set up rates by the book. I, I set it up as I, as I had it, as I prefer. I kind of, not gonna lie, I eyeballed it on the, uh, <laughs> on the rates. I, I'll do that sometimes, but take a look for you guys how I was flying it. So I was on low rate aileron. I was getting about 34 millimeters. That's low. And then I had high rate available to me, which is, you know, which is up there. That'll make it more drill bitty. I find it does nice sweeping action. Um, the rolls, as you saw those rolls I did out there, that was all on low rate and they're a little, you know, a little softer, um, you know, than the drill bit. So if you wanted to go higher and then for elevator, that's my high is what I flew it on. And that's my low. It's very, very minor on high and low, but I kept it in high. I like having the elevator there. And, uh, you know, this model is also fantastic for guys who like to, uh, high alpha, which, um, you know, one day I'll get there, I think. But this field just does not cater to getting in that position for too long. But guys, I hope that helps you guys out. If you're on the market for an F-22, uh, this is really the only one that matters on, on the market. Or you could get the 64 millimeter. That's up to you. That's also a fantastic flying mat, uh, model. But uh, the 90 miller from Freewing, she can, she can be aerobatic. She can be gentle. Um, I wouldn't say it's a, the first EDF, but it could be if you wanted to spend. If you were ready and confident uh, in your flying ability already, you could jump on this. Guys, that'll do it for us here. Any questions about the F-22, please leave them in the comments section below. As always, sub, spin, and win going on every Friday. We're giving away a prize to one lucky subscriber, and all you have to do to be eligible is hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell, and then tune in on Friday because you have to see if you won in order to claim your prize. So guys, that'll do it for me here. Thanks, Alex, behind the camera. Thank you for watching. Watching, and we'll see you next time at Motion RC.